Hey everybody, Rose Mutter here, and welcome to part 25 of my Fate Stay Night Let's Play. So, I kind of screwed things up uh, leading up to the last episode. I ended up getting the bad saber route where she gave in to her desires for the Holy Grail and killed Shiro. So, yeah, that was uh, no good. So I ended up having to go back, redo some of my choices. We got we got uh, our way to the, you know, proper ending, the proper saber ending. And she managed to save Shiro from all the stuff going on with Kyrie, with Lancer, Gilgamesh coming out. And, uh, you know, the reveal that he is also one of the servants that is working with Kyrie. So it was just a whole thing. Um, Saber managed to get Shiro out of there. And now, like, Lancer and Gilgamesh are fighting each other. I don't see Lancer surviving because it, it's leading up to the big fight, right, between Gilgamesh and and Saber. You know, like, the, the fight that they had in the last Holy Grail War, the unfinished business. We got Kyrie versus uh, Kiritsku's adopted son. So it's like the two of them you know, facing off against each other. So, it feels like we are coming to the end now, so I don't know how much more is left of this final route, uh, but I'm really excited to see the conclusion to it. So anyway, we are going to get back into it and see what happens next. Let's go. Oh, status screen. Okay. I stop. My body tells me I'm at my limit. Shiro, I move away from Saber and sit down on the grass. The wound on my chest is still there. It stopped bleeding, but the hole's still there. Even though the pain's gone, I have a hole in my body. Just looking at it makes me sick, and I wonder why I'm alive like this. You think he'd be used to holes in his body? He was sliced in half. He's been pierced multiple times. Saber crouches and looks into my chest. It's a bit embarrassing. Well, I mean, especially for those of you on my Patreon who see the uncensored uh, H scenes. Really? You're embarrassed about this? He, she's seen a lot more of, of you. Saber's finger runs across my chest. Then, I don't know why, but she places her hand over my wound and digs into it. My body jumps. Saber's hand mercilessly digs into me and... She's digging into me with her bare hands. It should hurt. It should hurt, but... There's no pain. Rather, pain seems to disappear around the place as Saber touches. Taking her hand off my chest, Saber looks relieved. Saya. I don't understand at all. Saber, Saber's sheath, the sheath of the sword Excalibur, the sheath of her sword is not invisible air. In the legend, the sheath of Excalibur was a noble phantasm that makes its possessor immortal. But she shouldn't have that. King Arthur died in the Battle of Camlin because that sheath was lost. I thought the implication was that Shiro is her sheath. Saber shouldn't have the sheath right now. Hi.私の鞘はあなたの体の中にあります。それを確信したのが昨夜というのは私の落ち度でしたが。俺の体の中に。バカな。そんな突拍子もない話が。そうでしょうか。思えば簡単なことだったのです。白は私を召喚した。yeah, that was always the thing, right? Like, Shiro didn't even know about the Holy Grail War. How did he summon her? So, like, he's her sheath and she just instinctively found him? Yeah, 
魔術師としても未熟だったシローが私を呼ぶにはそれを補ってあまりある接点がなければならないそれが私のさや失われたエクスカリバーのさやだったのですあいやそれはそうかもしれないけどだから何だってそんなものが俺の中にあるんだそれはおそらく切り継ぐのはおそらく切り継ぐのはおそらく切り継ぐのはエクスカリバーのサヤを職場にして私を召喚した。聖剣のサヤは持ち主の傷を癒す宝具です。I forgot about that. Was that, that must have been mentioned in the anime that he had her s h e a t h 持っていた方が有利と判断したのでしょう。私には知能力があるし、死ににくい。それより死にやすいマスターがサヤを持つ方が、戦いには勝ち残れる。So, if he hid the sheath in me, then, like, he. Did he want me to participate in the Holy Grail War? Did he figure that that was going to happen? That I would summon Saber? That she would eventually, like, find her way to me? Maybe he knew that, like, Shiro, as, you know, wanted to be a superhero, maybe wanted to save the world. So he figured, what better person to save, like, to, to have the Holy Grail? But Kiritsuko also knew about the,、um, the deadliness of the Holy Grail. He wanted to destroy it. So, I don't know. じゃあ、親父も今の俺と同じような状態で戦いを勝ち残ったってわけか。おそらくは。そして戦いが終わり、私が消えた後、キリツグは焼け跡の中をさまよい、死にかけている子供を見つけた。Oh, he put the sheath. キリツグには治療の力はありませんでしたし。Did he give me the sheath at that moment so that I'd survive? 手の施しようがなかったのでしょう。だから。Oh, interesting. I unconsciously placed my hand on my chest. On that day, ten years ago, I accepted death looking up at the sky. My whole body was burnt, and maybe it really was burned to ashes. When Kiritsugu found a child barely alive, he had to rely on what he had on hand. The sheath of the holy sword that protects the life of its possessor. He must have saved that dying life by implanting the sheath. So, h o n t o n i I think that's what I'm saying. 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 That's right. Someone saved me at that time. When I came to, there was no one there, and all I found was a rock. I took the rock home because I thought it was something important, but it's still at my house, or is it still at my house right now? So, there are Watash to Kayak Sura Mino Hanashidesho. Saya, Watash no Hogudis. Watashiga Genkaishi, Maruko, Sosoganakereba, Hogutos de no Noriko, Hakishinai. Shiro, Watash to you servant to Kayak Shinakereba, son of Fujimise or Eranai no des. Mata Showa, Maruk Sai Sosogeba. もちぬしの命を保護するでしょう。ですが、それも微弱のものです。死にかけた人間を救うには、さやそのものと同化させるしかなかったはずです。おそが、その、すまん、せば、お前のさやをこんなことで使っちまって。何を言うのです。シローは
Oh, she felt like he betrayed her when he told her to destroy the Holy Grail. Her murmur sounds more like a confession. Saber apologizes to a person she cannot apologize to anymore. And she looks at me to part the wish that she held for so long. She doesn't say anything. My heart understands just by being beside her. Turia sought the Holy Grail, a lonely king who needed to believe that ruin was or was avoidable with the Holy Grail, if a girl who wished for what would happen if she could redo the selection. But this is the end. Her long battle will finally end. She murmurs that she'd still like to be forgiven. It was a mistaken wish, days that were not able to be wished for, or that were not to be wished for, but the weakness was just a passing dream a girl saw. What should I feel listening to her? Saber's answer is beautiful. A decision full of dignity and purity, just like her. She's proud of her past and has accepted the end that awaits her. And now, Saber's decided to follow her oath until the very end. She doesn't even need to tell me what that means. She will not hesitate any longer. And I find that beautiful. A dark night, from the moment I was captivated by her figure in the moonlight, I've loved her. So, regardless of what awaits ahead, there's only one thing to be done. Saber. <laughs> like father, like son, huh? I say so, throwing aside my attachment and my selfishness. <laughs> Saber nods in response. I can't smile back at her. It takes all I have to suppress my heart, telling me I don't want this. But still, there will surely come a day where I can be proud of being trusted like this. I get up. Now that I've decided, there's no time to rest. So if the Holy Grail's destroyed, she's going to disappear, right? Like, she won't be able to stay in this world, so hes he knows he's going to have to give her up. It's clear what must be done, and the enemy is clear as well. There's no time to stop. Today, we will end this long battle before tomorrow comes. With Saber helping me walk, I make it back home. The wound on my chest hasn't healed yet. According to Saber, I should stay still for at least a few more hours. I bite my lip. I hate my body, unable to move when it clears what needs to be done. Or when it's clear what needs to be done. He's gonna walk in, and Riz just gonna be like, again. Again, you almost got killed. My goodness. Shiro, <laughs> Alright, last battle, so we are going to be ending this soonish. Where Kotamine went, how we beat Gilgamesh. There are many things to think about. I have to rest for now and prepare myself for later tonight. At that instant, my mind stops. There's no sign of anyone. Uh-oh. The air is different. Well, I think it was implied that... Um, uh, Illis Illisfiel? Uh, she's quite... Oh, I just noticed the blood. Oh, I just saw the blood on the door. Oh, that's not good. Uh, you know, she is important. You know, she's uh, like the vessel for the Holy Grail or something like that. So she's probably been kidnapped. Oh, amidst the smell of burning, I can also smell the strong scent of blood. I run. I ignore my wound and run like I'm running away from the bad feeling I have. I run through the hall, turn the corner, and enter the familiar room. There. The scene before me is anything but familiar. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Whoa, Rin's dead? <gasps> Did not see that coming. Oh. Oh, so cold. Oh, shit. My voice shakes. 
I don't know what happened. I'm guessing that someone came for Illisville. She tried to stop them and she got killed. Either she might not be dead. It looks bad. She might still be alive. We might be able to help her. All I know is Tosaka's looking at me, breathing weakly. Okay, she is alive. She's alive. Oh, I don't know what she intends, but she's talking to me normally, even though she has a wound that should make even talking difficult. And unfortunately, she's not Shiro, so she can't just bounce back from this. Saber nods silently and runs to the bathroom. I pull out the first aid kit, still in a panic. Tosaka stares at me, breathing hard. I don't know what she's on about, but I nod, thinking I have to listen to her for now. Uh, that finally calms me down. Tosaka's injured, the living room's destroyed, and Ilya should be here, but isn't. She nods. I don't even need to ask, since he's the only one left. But only Saber and I knew that Kotomine was our enemy. This must have been a complete surprise attack for Tosaka, because the Seventh Master happened to be her teacher and guardian. The shitty thing is her dad knew uh, what kind of person Kotomine is, but unfortunately, he knew a little bit too late, so he has no way to warn Rin, who got taken in by the guy who killed her father. <laughs> Maybe she's like, deep down inside, I never really trusted him. She coughs up blood. Crap, I can't let her talk. I don't want to hear words like that, but I nod silently. She's looking at me seriously with that wound of hers. I don't know if anyone would be able to stop her. あの子が今回の聖杯の器だってあいつは初めから知ってたんでしょうねイリアが聖杯正確には あの子自体が聖杯を下ろす器になると思う。じゃあ、イリアは子供になに連れて行かれたわ。でも、セイバーがまだ健在なら道は開かない。子供だって器になるイリアをどうにかしようなんて。か。I can only hope so. Lancer isn't an easy servant to beat either. He can't match Gilgamesh, but he might be able to at least run away. I can only hope so, but I can't tell Tosaka about that right now. I love how the whole thing was like, he was supposed to rest, and he's immediately like, no, I'm gonna, I, I gotta go. Hopefully he doesn't go right for her right now, like he's gotta come at... Gilgamesh at 100%. He can't be going at him at 
聖杯の高齢場所としてあそこ以上の場所はないもの教会はもう引き払ってるだろうし隠れてるとしたらあの寺だから<笑>小峰がいるのは竜道寺だな It must be hard for her to even move her neck now, but Tosaka gives a slight nod. The question, this question is not asked as a friend called Tosaka Rin, but as a magus who understands the situation. Oh, I wasn't expecting a choice here. Okay, let's save. I'll say, is there a way? I will definitely settle things with Kotomine. Even if I don't have a chance of winning, I can't run away. And if Tosaka has a plan, I'll follow it no matter what. If I had said the first choice, would she not have given me this thing? Saying so, Tosaka reaches behind her and takes out a dagger. This is all too famous a dagger. It's a dagger for rituals more than for battles. A magic wand shaped like a sword used to form magic circles and to affect physical divine mysteries. The word Azoth is carved into the jewel on the handle. The blade must be Tosaka's preference, as it's shorter than usual. This weapon, favored by a famous occult scholar who pretty much dominated the world, is called the Azoth Sword. I don't know if it's Azoth or Azoth. It's like the proof of adulthood for a magus, and it's like a gift you get for getting into school. どうぞか。これは見ればわかるでしょう。私の探検よ。宝石に比べればビビたるものだけど、それでも気が向いた時には魔力を込めてた。ですとって叫んで張りったけの魔力を流し込めば発動するから。the dagger she gives me is heavy, not physically, but the weight of memories Tosaka has in it. Tosaka, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Hopefully sleepy means sleepy, not like I'm dying. She laughs awkwardly, before I realize it. Saber standing behind me, waiting to treat Tosaka. I hope... I really hope she wakes up. I hope this is not like a, a preview of... Her dying, like basically, this is they're they're doing the whole thing, like oh no, you'll make it through the night, surely, and I'll make the big breakfast for you. It's like the red flag that she's gonna die. I hope she doesn't. I really, really hope she doesn't. So, <laughs> She must be satisfied after saying all that. Tosaka falls asleep right after that. She looks so healthy that I feel stupid for worrying about her. You know, healthy except for all the blood around her. But, well, that was her way of cheering me on, and she did share some of her courage with me. I tell the sleeping Tosaka. The board is all set. Now I just have to pass the few hours until my wound heals without regrets. The date changes. We treated Tosaka, took her to her room, made dinner, and ate it silently. The wound is almost healed. There's only an hour or two left. In the remaining time, I'll... Oh! Wait, go report to... Wait, what? Hold on. Okay, well, obviously, if this is the Saber route, we want to spend time with Saber, right? Go report to Carrie? Just, like, have a talk with him? 
Oh man, I wish I could do all of these things. I'm curious about like, you know, him having that conversation with his, with his dad, but we gotta spend time with Saber. It is the Saber route. How should I spend the remaining hours? I thought about it, but this is where I ended up. That I was. I don't know why the happy music seems so out of place right now, given everything that happened. そうだな。シロがよろよきるだけで模擬戦はできました。そうですね。本当にそうすれば良かった。もっと早く言ってくれたらシロと本気で打ち合えたのに。Saber is so cute even when she's annoyed. She's cute, but her words are pretty scary. 本気でって。それこそ本気かセイバー。まともに打ち合ったら1週間は寝たきりになるぞ、俺。いいえ。そのようなことは決して。シロは自分を過小評価しています。この数日であなたは本当に成長した。今のシロなら私から1本取ることも夢ではありません。え、本当?Even if that's flattery, I'm really happy. I really respect Saber when it comes to swords. Being able to beat her even once is like being accepted by her. 本当に本当か? そのうまく気をつけば Saber replies with a false smile. That expression makes my determination vanish. After this, we won't be able to come back. We could just run away instead of going into an unwinnable battle. Shiro, what happened? Why did you get やはり傷が痛むのですか。それでしたら部屋で休んで。いや、もう大丈夫だ。痛むところなんてない。I yeah. cut off all hesitations. I can't run away and I really don't want our final time together to be like this. まあ、セイバー、せっかく道場に来たんだから軽く手合わせしないか。真剣じゃなくて遊ぶくらいの気持ちで軽く。I hide my emotions and bluff as much as I can. She must have understood my intentions, as she gladly accepts my idea. Yes, it's more like us to be fighting than talking. For a short while, we forget about everything and feel each other's shinai. Oh, serious music now. The moon is distant. The clouds have cleared and the darkness has a dim blue glow. Daybreak is close. The long night is about to end. This is the final moment. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. We're coming to the final part here. Look at that sky. It's so scary looking. Going through the night, Saber and I have reached our final destination. Saber sounds tense. I feel the same way. As I nod, I can feel sweat dripping down my neck. The mountain feels like one big living thing. The wind coming down from the mountain gate is warm, and the shaking trees seem like breathing lungs. Chills and pressure assail me every time I take a step. No, the air really is thick and wet. The summoning of the Holy Grail has begun, or it's already over. Either way, that must mean Lancer has fallen to Gilgamesh. Saber. Kotomine 
はい誇りにかけて彼には負けるわけにはいかないサーバントとしてではなく英霊としてかの王に膝を屈することはできませんセイバー says so strongly without hesitation or distress so there's nothing more to say We will go to battle and determine the winner as the last remaining mas、uh, masters. Even if in the process, if one of us dies, the other need only defeat their enemy. Even if I die, if Saber beats Gilgamesh, Kotamine won't be able to obtain the Holy Grail. At the same time, even if Saber dies, if I defeat Kotamine, Gilgamesh won't be able to stay in this world. So there's no need to help each other. Our battles have already gone their separate ways. That's, that's a sign of true trust in each other that、uh, Saber can trust him. To, to do his thing and, and that he'll, he will succeed. Instead of before, she was always rushing to help him. Red light fills the mountaintop. The blowing wind is getting stronger, and it seems the source of it is that light coming from the back of the grounds. The red, oh gosh,、uh, phosphorin. Fluorescence scatters on the wind, and the ground is too bright for nighttime. Stagnant air filled with the pres bleh, presence of death. This is like the fire back then, but it isn't like that. Within all this red light, something is about to emerge. From the back of the building, a black darkness oozing in the bright red. This clearing is like a clear lake, that mud is like an oil spill. <laughs> Ike doesn't even acknowledge me. Fair. He's there within all the rich colors, ignoring the blood red and the death stained black. A servant clad in gold is waiting for us. No, for Saber in the middle of this place. この世にとどめる第三要素10年前お前が俺に浴びせたものだギルガメッシュは only looking at Saber It goes the same for Saber She takes a step forward and points her sword at the knight in front of her いい気概だ俺には勝てないと知った上でなおその闘志宴の終わりを飾るにふさわしいが邪魔はいらぬそこの雑種コトミネに用があるのなら早々に消えろ奴は祭壇で貴様を待っているコトミネ is waiting I glance at Saber She nods while looking at Gilgamesh Her figure tells me that she's wishing me her best I turn around The one I need to face isn't here Behind me, as I run, I hear the battle start. At the back of the building, behind the main temple, is a large lake. Untouched by humans, the lake is holy as if a dragon king lives in it. The clear blue water is pure, and the, and the lake isn't even murky. But that's all in the past. The lake now has none of these characteristics. A red light is in front of my eyes, in the sea of black tar, and. The void created in the air and the girl presented as a sacrifice. <laughs> my calm mind instantly goes over the limit. I stop and glare at my enemy. <laughs> He smiles sarcastically and opens his arms to welcome me. This is the site of our battle. This is the altar of the summoning in this Holy Grail War. <laughs> I glare at Kotimine. There's about 10 meters between us. The fight will begin if I move another step. Once the fight starts, I'll have to run straight at him and stab him in the chest. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be quite that straightforward. But before that, I have to do something about Ilya. Ilya 
接点である彼女には命の続く限り耐えてもらわねば私の願いは叶わない。Until she dies, then Ilya is still alive. そうか。お前に下ろす気がないってんなら、力づくで下ろすだけだ。お前の願い、その黒い泥を今すぐに止めてやる。ほう、なるほど。お前にはこれが私の望みに見えるわけかさすがは桐継ぐの息子だなよもや二代にわたって思い違いを続けるとは<笑>聖杯を理解しえぬ者にわざわざ解いてやる真理はないその思い違いを抱いたまま最後のマスターとして責務を果たすがいい I jump. There's about 10 meters between us. Keeping that distance, I jump sideways. This is the result of my instincts of not wanting to die, surpassing my desire to kill him. I roll sideways onto the ground. I stop instantly and look up. I look at the place I was running over. A sound of burning. The burning sound is coming from the black mud stretching out from the lake. It's like a black carpet. Mud slashed like a whip, attacking me as I went after Kotomine and left a mark on the ground. I jumped to avoid the black mud mercilessly attacking me. Screw moving carelessly. He's ready to kill me. <laughs> I stand up, still keeping watch over the lake. The distance to Kotomine hasn't changed. That means this 10 meters is as near as he wants me to get. But that tentacle of mud stretches without limit. It will come after me if he wants it to, and I'm sure there are more than one. <laughs> このまま立ち去るのなら殺しようがなかったがお前本人が争うのであれば問題はない何しろこれでも神に仕える身だ助けを求める者を殺めるわけにもいかなくてな The tentacle whips out The quivering mud comes from the lake is、uh, coming from the lake is like a black snake I bite my lip This is the worst situation, as I thought. The number of snakes continues to increase without end. I don't know how long I can survive, let alone how I can get close to him. Gilgamesh said something about snakes, right? So. Shoki ga nai no wa tozen da. Omae no ikita nensu to. Watashi no ikita nensu de wa okiku hiraki ga. Well, I got that blade. Don't know if that's going to be enough of a leveling, a leveling field, but we weren't given that thing for no reason. It will come into play. The priest raises his hand. He glares at the heavens as if he's conducting an orchestra. He releases the black snakes. I kick away the mucus around my ankle. My clothes are burnt away, and my skin is exposed. I jump back from the striking, striking tentacle. I can't feel my right ankle, and I can't even tell if it's there, but I jump into the open field in front of me. I check my body as I roll. Ankle? All right, it's still there. I just can't feel it. If it's there, I should be able to run. I jump in a different direction again to avoid the striking mud. I hear a splashing sound right next to me. The smell of the ground burning forces my dizzy head awake, and. Fire runs up my back. I shake it off and jump to an empty space. That must have been the end of this,、uh, this attack. The black mud that was surrounding me has disappeared from view for now. I bite my lip. I ran so much, but in the end. I pushed back to here again. 
They breathe hard and look at him so as not to lose in spirit. Kotamine has not moved at all. He's just watched me run around. No matter how hard I breathe, my heart won't calm down. It's saying it's at its limits and it needs rest. It's about to go out on its own if I don't let it rest. He's just started the fight. This is not good. Like, Kodami has not even exerted any effort at all. I can't do anything. I can't get near Kotamine, nor get through that black mud. I'm not going to hold back on using the projection magic. If I can't move forward, I can reproduce Saber's sword again. It will surely be able to slice through that black mud, and I can go straight for Kotamine. The instant he speaks. Lots of mud comes splashing towards me, telling me I cannot let myself stop. I raise myself and barely dodge the mud. The mud itself isn't too bad. It's slow compared to Saber Shinai, and it only comes where it's aimed, so it's easy to dodge. But that's only true when there's only one of them. I can't deal with tens of mud attacks, the ones that come from behind me the instant I dodge them. As a result, I can only move around. Even then, mud covers me bit by bit. There's no time to rest. I can't reproduce a sword like this. Projection magic tracing a weapon from the beginning requires at least one minute of concentration. I'm just like, Kodamine, did you stay right there? I'll be right back. Just, just stay there. Don't follow me. If I show such an opening, I'll be melted down to my bones. The parts of my body covered with mud have lost sensation. The only good thing is I don't feel any pain, but I won't know if I'm dead or not when that mud covers my whole body. I'm finished when that happens, and most of all, I'll have melted away by then. For now, all I can do is run. If there's any chance of getting near him, it will be when I do something about this mud. I can't believe it. Who on earth would trip at a time like this? Kodamine looks down at me like trash. He points his finger at me, and many snakes show their veins. <laughs> I love the whole thing about, like, snakes, a man of religion. I, I'm not too well versed in, 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 like, biblical stuff, but, like, you know, snakes being a big part of it, and, like, Gilgamesh talking about the snakes. Love it. I get up. I try to get up, but, but fall again. I fall. I fall. The snakes are coming, but I still fall. Why? 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 Black mud comes from my neck. Why? Oh, I see why. My right ankle is unbelievably black. Black mud rains down. It spills onto my body like a rainstorm, melts it, and drowns my despair. This feels like I just got a bad end and I don't even know if I did anything wrong. It's like a choice I made 20 minutes ago affected this. Wait, what? <laughs> Hopefully this is just an intermission, and then we're gonna cut to Saber. Wait! Dead end! I did get a bad end! Oh shit! Oh shit, what did I do wrong? I- I was saying that as a joke, being like, Oh, haha, wouldn't that be funny if I made a choice? Was it the choice with, uh... With Tosaka? What- did I pick the wrong choice there? Oh! Maybe I should have had a strategy meeting with Saber about, like, what to do in this situation. Okay, well, let's see what the Tiger Dojo has to say, because this, this is a case where I'm actually not sure what I did wrong. Wait, what? Not having a weapon? But I had the weapon, didn't I? But I, but I took the weapon. Oh. So probably this, we probably needed to do the strategy meeting, huh? But, but that's not what we did wrong. Oh, 
セーバーちゃんの工具はもともと3つその最後の一つを用意してあげれば、okay. あとはなんとかなるってもんよ。The game tricked me for thinking like, oh, with the saber root, I should spend time with saber, right? You pick all the choices that, you know, have you spend time with saber, but it looks like what I should have done was do the strategy meaning. That makes sense. そっか、返せばいいんだね。うむ。返さるのものは返さるへ。なくすには惜しいものだったけど、やっぱり拾いものは持ち主に返さないとね。ほら、大河にしてはいいこと言うのね。腐っても学校の先生ってところかしら。あはははは。褒めて褒めて。はいはい。それじゃ、大河がいい気分のうちに、嬉しいお知らせをしちゃいます。えっと、本編の端っこでつつましく続いていたこのコーナーだけど、なんと、今回で最終回。次回からは予想いも新たにタイガー道場第2部タイガー夫妻1億円編が始まるよ次は舞台を私のお城に移して立ち絵も音楽も発売ハードも一新<笑> Right at the end of the game, huh? 制作費も倍になっておまけコーナーとは思えない充実ぶりになるんだから<笑>なんか重ねてめでたいなよくわからないけど、ウォーズからメタルスに CG が変わるようなものかしらね。Be hilarious if I do get another Tiger Dojo and it's all done in a completely like, different style. And it's done in like really elaborate,、uh, like a completely different artist. トーツ師匠次からはこんな、いかにもやっつけ仕事の立ち絵から解放されるのです。おし素晴らしいそうと決まれば、さっさとこんな道場ともおさらばしましょう。いいみんな。第2部への鍵は3日目一度エンディングを見た後なら3日目の夜に今までなかった選択肢を見つけたら次の日に行くのよ。次の日に行くのよ。次の日に行くのよ。そこをめめめレイジュでも何でも使って暴れ回る暴虐ライオンを止めるべしそういうことじゃあみんな、新規一転したタイガー道場で待ってるよ。少し。Okay, let's do the strategy meeting. Oh,、uh, weapon screen. Let's check out the weapon. I guess the weapon that I've got.、Uh, what's it called? The, there we go. The Azoth, Azoth sword. An item of ceremonial magical equipment that Rin treasures. This object is not a weapon as it amplifies the magical energy of the owner and it, it is instead used as a staff to support and amplify magic usage. It is a popular item in the Magic Association and a common commemorative gift given by masters and parents when entering adulthood. The original is said to be a dagger favored by the man who established the foundations of present day alchemy. Yeah, I guess the thing too is like, I, I'm already on the saber route. Like, I, I already went past the point of no return when、uh, she decided not to kill me. So, we should be smooth sailing from here on out. So, let's go to the strategy meeting. Yeah. There's only one thing to do. We've always done so. So, I should follow that until the very end. It's not romantic or elegant, but it would be more like us if we meet and come up with a plan. Shiro, Taisako Nerno Aino desna. Nani mo coco de nacto mo yoino de anai desca. Yeah, coco san ito chosing a denai. Ekara nakani hiro. Kanga and ashto agisanaida. Oh, Shiro ga so yuno de stara, stagaimasna. Saber reluctantly goes to the shed. Well, I have my reasons for bringing Saber to the shed. We don't have any way to match Gilgamesh right now. It goes without saying we need a plus alpha factor. So. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, shoot. What was the thing they just said about the command spell, right? But they also said we need another weapon. Ah, shit. <laughs> okay, let me save again. They're giving me a lot of options here. Give Saber back her, back her sheath? Let's return the sheath to its rightful owner. I don't know if I'll succeed until I try, but Saber puts her hand into my body to check for the sheath's existence. Then it shouldn't be impossible to take it out. That's r e a l right, Shiro. That's right. That's what Saber is, right? So, it's of course to return to Saber. That's right. サヤが戻れば私の魔力も上がります
ですがそれでもギルガメッシュに勝てる保証はありませんそれにサヤを摘出してしまったらシロはどうするのです That feels like the opposite of what I should have done, right? Like I'm, I'm taking something away from myself サヤを取ってしまえばもう I won't heal even if I get hurt. Oh, that's, that's real bad.、Um, oh, maybe this wasn't the right decision. Oh, well, if, if it's not, then I get a bad end, so be it. But that's normal. I've relied too much on this body of mine without even knowing it. People die when they're killed. I can't be protected from such a normal thing now. Saya, I'll take it, Saber. This is our chance to win. This is our chance to win. Biting her lip painfully, Saber doesn't answer. I don't know how long that lasted. Just as the clouds disappear and moonlight starts to shine in through the window. Akarimashita, Master. Anata no kokoro, Okarishimas. Saber nods at my words. Sore deva hajimimas. Junbi wa iiriska, Shiro. Izo. Enryo naku hajimete kure. Saber agrees. Saber places her hand on my chest and. <laughs> Plunges into my body. My job is easy. Taking out the sheath is similar to the steps in the projection magic. The sheath of the Holy Sword is melted into my body. I just need to gather it into one place and form it like it was before. Of course, that's just the image. I say I'll return it to its original form, but it's only the magical energy that will be shaped like that. Saber is the one who gives it shape. The cluster of magical energy will take shape in Saber's, the possessor's hand. I'm just helping her, as if making something from nothing. I take the scattered pieces of the sheath and carefully reproduce it without flaw. <laughs> my body's burning. Projection is way beyond my level. The magic surely kills my body every time I use it. It destroys my nerves, burns my skin, crushes my brain, and makes me a vegetable. But it's the only weapon I have, and this is the only way to help Saber. It's the only weapon I have, and I'm it, the whole thing of that they said in the dojo was to get a weapon, not take a weapon away. I imagine her figure as I saw it in my dreams. The golden sheath suited to the king who ran through many battles. I take what protected the king and led her to numerous victories and reproduce it vividly without any mistake. So that no matter what happens, I engrave it into my mind that I,、uh, so that I will not forget it, no matter what kind of end awaits us. I hear Saber's voice. Something that was binding my body for a long time escapes my body. It must be perfect, as Saber says, surprisingly happy. My body is burning and I fall onto my butt. Saber runs to the house. Listening to her footsteps, I let out a sigh. I felt it was perfect too. It was so perfectly done. I believe no future projection will be as perfect as that. Wow, it sounds like he's accepting his death right now. I bid farewell to that. Oh, never mind, okay. I bid farewell to that, which was part of me until now. The golden sheath that protected her. I will never forget it. Even if it leaves my body, its figure has also been engraved into my heart. Okay, so now we're back to the night of the battle, so we can skip on ahead and hopefully, hopefully, I picked the right choice. That seemed right. I don't know, like with all that happening, it seemed like that was supposed to, that was supposed to happen with the whole thing with the sheath. We go up the stone stairs. The air gets denser the closer we get to the mountain gate. Sweat drips down my neck. Ominous premonitions prick at my skin. Our strongest opponents wait at the end of these stairs. But I really don't care about that. We go up the stairs. The mountain gate is approaching. This is the end. No matter who wins this battle, Saber will disappear. The long and short days of battle will end, and Saber will vanish from this world. She's going to return to her proper time, so he's accepted that. I. I can't say I have no regrets. Losing Saber, losing the one I promised to protect, the one whose happiness I wished for. I don't know yet how hard it will be. We're still walking together, and I can feel her presence. I'm not yet ready to lose her. Even if I knew many days ago, 
even if I knew from the moment we met that there'd be a parting at the end. Thinking back, there were so many memories, nights when we walked together and times we fought together. I selfishly tried hard in the beginning, thinking that I couldn't let a girl fight. She trained me hard in the dojo. I slept in the shed because I was unable to sleep with a girl in the next room. Oh, how far he's come. We had lunch together. Saber liked the bath, was satisfied when the food was good, liked the clothes Tosaka prepared for her, and talked with Fujini. She pushed herself, took all the burdens onto her shoulders, and finally collapsed, and we shared our warmth in the ruin. I've been crazy since then. I couldn't think of anything but Saber, and after my reasons for fighting changed, I realized that I loved Saber. How can I lose someone like this? Saber doesn't say anything. I can't say anything either. When these stairs end, if we reach the top, there will be nothing for us to talk about. Losing Saber and parting with her will happen in the future, but this moment is the only time allotted to us for farewells. Yeah, this feels more right. This feels more final. Like, before we just took off, we didn't have this moment. We go up the stairs. If I don't want to say goodbye, I could just talk to her about meaningless things. Like, like going to town again after we go home. Or what she wants for breakfast tomorrow morning. Such meaningless things. But I can't even talk about such things. If I talk, that'll be our final conversation. A clear end. Neither of us can offer a clear farewell. And so we reach the mountain gate. This is the final choice. If we go on, it will end. But if we go back, I might be able to find a way to avoid losing her. Saber. I stop and turn back to Saber. Saber is the same, always. A tense stare with a composed expression. The moment I see it, all kinds of temptation attack me. Like, let's run away. Like, if I don't want to lose her, I can go back. She would accompany me if I wished. My determination wavers. That temptation rises in my throat. But I stop it. I declare that as a master, just as I always have. Saber nods silently. Her eyes are strong-willed, as always. So I won't have any regrets. As she believes in me, I too will believe that my choice is correct. We start for the mountain gate. We head into the battle with no return. I couldn't say anything, and I couldn't tell her what I really wanted to tell her. But I want to believe the silence was able to tell her my feelings. The long stairs we climb together. This is our final memory of our time together. Okay, this, I think this is new too. Uh, mud that spreads, taints the ground, does not kill anything it swallows. It is like a visible curse. I'm a magus too. I can sense that the thing only reacts to the human mind and only swallows human bodies. He is there within all the rich colors, ignoring the blood red and death stained black. The servant clad in gold is waiting for us. No, for Saber in the middle of this place. セイハイもようやく思い越しを上げ、穴が開いたところだ。この呪いこそが聖杯の中。我らサーバントをこの世に留める第三要素。10年前、お前が俺に浴びせたものだ。あの呪い。聖杯と偽っていたものを使って何を望む。望みなどないと言っただろう。乙峰が聖杯をどう扱おうと俺は知らん。今のところ、俺の関心はお前だけだ。As if to as if an answer to Saber, the Golden Knight raises his hand. At the same time, the air behind him sways like a haze. The king's treasure, hundreds of noble phantasms, are loaded like bullets. Ah, 
Another step. Saber steps into range with the many noble phantasms. This isn't a battle I can do anything about. The battle between Saber and Gilgamesh is something no human could interfere with. それでこそセイバー。俺には勝てないと知った上でなおその気概。宴の終わりを飾るにふさわしいが。邪魔はいらぬ。そこの雑種。ことみねに用があるのなら早々に消えろ。奴は祭壇で貴様を待って。Tochimine is waiting. I glance at Saber. She nods while looking at Gilgamesh. Her figure tells me she is wishing me her best. I turn around. The one I need to face isn't here. Behind me, as I run, I hear the battle start. At the back of the building, behind the uh, main temple, is a large lake. Okay, so this is pretty much all the same too, but I gotta be careful because there has been new things as well. Boy created in the air and the girl presented as a sacrifice. My calm mind instantly goes over the limits. I stop and glare at my enemy. He smiles sarcastically and opens his arm to welcome me. This is the site of our battle. This is the altar of the summoning in this Holy Grail war. I glare at Kotomine. There's about 10 meters between us. The fight will begin if I move another step. I don't know what kind of magus Kotomine is, but I assume he'll use some kind of projectile weapon like Tosaka. In comparison, I can only punch him. It's like he has the memories of what happened in the dead end, and he's coming into it like he knows that whole thing about the tar that will only attack humans. Even though I have the dagger Tosaka gave me, it's useless unless I get near him. Once the fight starts, I'll have to run straight at him and stab his chest. But first, I have to do something about Ilya. Until she dies, then Ilya is still alive. そうか。お前に下ろす気がないってんなら、力づくで下ろすだけだ。お前の願い、その黒い泥を今すぐに止めてやる。ほう。なるほど。お前にはこれが私の望みに見えるわけか。さすがは規律部の息子だな。よもや2台にわたって重い違いを続けるとは。この泥は私の手によるものではない。これは聖杯よりあふれる力。本来は万能である<笑> There's a lot more information given. We just got right into the fight last time. Okay, 
What is he saying? If that's true, then he became a master not for a wish, but just to open this up? I clench my teeth and glare at the black priest. The man smiles. So, Dana. She te you not of a gora kudayo. He said that before. He's consistent. He makes a simple claim as if it's only natural. Why? I've never thought about it. So, それらが楽しいのは単に人間が作ったものだからだ。よいか。あらゆる創造物は人間の内より生じるもの。音楽も物語も愛憎も憐憫も信頼も裏切りも道徳も背徳も幻想も真実も全て全て抱きすべき不純物に過ぎそのようなもの所詮は残りかすに過ぎぬ二流の娯楽私が楽しみたいのは人間
It's like a black carpet. The mud slashed like a whip, attacking me as I went after Kotamine and left a mark on the ground. I jumped to avoid the black mud mercilessly attacking me. Screw moving carelessly. He's ready to kill me. I stand up, still keeping watch over the lake. The distance to Kotamine hasn't changed. That means this 10 meters is as near as he wants me to get. But that tentacle of mud stretches without limit. It will come after me if he wants it to, and I'm sure there are more than one. Now here's the thing, he doesn't have a sheath. He's not even able to, like, heal himself. He doesn't have an extra weapon. The whole thing about this was coming in with, like, something else. Unless Saber is able to help me, despite the fact that she's away from me with her sheath, I don't know what, what happened that's different. それは喜ばしい。このまま立ち去るのなら殺しようがなかったが、お前本人が争うのであれば問題はない。何しろこれでも神に仕えるみだ。助けを求める者を殺める。何しろこれでも神に仕えるみだ。助けを求める者を殺
She has to defeat Gilgamesh before he takes out Aya, or she will be the one defeated. This is why she's continued to attack without a thought for saving her energy. She's cornered the enemy like this more than a few times. But still, she could never get past his wall of noble phantasms. まだ続けるのか。主に忠誠を誓うのはいいが、それも限度があろう。今頃あの雑誌は琴峰に殺されている。もはや、お前が戦う理由はなかろうよ。私の主は健在だ。あのようなマスター相手に、四郎が膝を
in the reign of noble phantasm, she's hit time after time. Her armor's destroyed, her gauntlets pierced, and even the pierces covering her feet are pierced, or pieces. Saber manages to avoid a fatal wound, even in this danger, but then sees the worst thing possible, probably Aya, on the other side of the reign of noble phantasms. As if to finish off a fleeing enemy, Gilgamesh is pulling out his favorite sword. She stops her jump. She lands right away and pours magical energy into her holy sword. But will it be in time? Wind roars. The blade of light is revealed and she raises her sword without waiting for the wind to fully unseal. Is she gonna be doing Excalibur right now? Yeah, yep. Probably not gonna... Uh, she does not even bother with the reign of noble phantasms and swings her holy sword with all speed possible. But it's too late. Hounding through his own noble phantasms, Gilgamesh swings his sword. I was gonna say, I don't know if she'll have time to unleash Excalibur. Alright, now we're back to them. I kick away the mucus around my ankle. It's not looking good. It's not looking good on both sides. My clothes are burnt away and my skin is exposed. <laughs> I jump back from the striking tentacle. I can't feel my right ankle and I can't tell if it's there, but I jump into the open field in front of me. I check my body as I roll. Ankle? Alright, still there. I just can't feel it. If it's there, I should be able to run. I don't know, have you ever tried to run on like a, a limb that is like pins and needles? Like you can't feel it? it it's, it's not easy. I jump in a different direction again to avoid the striking mud. I hear a splashing sound right next to me. The smell of the ground burning forces my dizzy head awake and... Now, how are, how are things going to change here? This is how what happened last time and I, and I ended up dying. Fire runs up my back. I shake it off and jump to an empty space. That must have been the end of this attack. The black mud that was surrounding me has disappeared from view for now. I bite my lip. I ran so much, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> I'm pushed back to here again. I breathe hard and look at him so as not to lose in spirit. Kotamine has not moved at all. He's just watched me run around. <sighs> No matter how hard I breathe, my heart won't calm down. It's saying it's at its limits, and it needs rest. It's about to go out on its own if I don't let it rest. I can't do anything. I can't get near Kotamine nor get through that black mud. I'm not going to hold back on using the projection magic. If I can't move forward, I can reproduce Saber's sword again. It will surely be able to slice through the black mud, and I can go straight for Kotamine. Hmm. The instant he speaks. <sighs> Lots of mud comes splashing towards me, telling me I can't let myself stop. I raise myself and barely dodge the mud. The mud itself isn't too bad. It's slow compared to Saber Shina, and only comes when it, uh, where it's aimed, so it's easy to dodge. But that's only true when there's one of them. I can't deal with tens of mud attacks, the ones that come from behind me the instant I dodge them. As a result, I can only move around. Even then, mud covers me bit by bit. There's no time to rest. I can't reproduce a sword like this. Projection magic tracing a weapon from the beginning requires at least one minute of concentration. If I show such an opening, I'll be melted down to my bones. <laughs> The parts of my body covered with mud have lost sensation. The only good thing is I don't feel pain, but I won't know if I'm dead or not when the mud covers my whole body. I'm finished when that happens, and most of all, I'll have melted away by then. All I can do is run. I know it's only a matter of time, even if I do, but I have to keep running for now. I won't have any luck getting near Kotamine while I'm dodging the mud. I can't get close now. Waiting behind Kotamine is a pool of mud. If there's any chance of getting near him, it will be when I do something about this mud. 
I think this is where I died last time. I can't believe it. Who on earth would trip at a time like this? Kotamine looks down at me like trash. He points his finger at me and many snakes show their veins. <laughs> Please don't let me die again here. I get up. I try to get up, but fall again. I fall. I fall. The snakes are coming. But I still fall. Why? 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 Black mud comes from my neck. Why? I see why. My right ankle is unbelievably black. Don't- don't let me die again. Please, no dead end. Please? Oh, okay. This is- okay, I was totally waiting for it to be like, nope, you died again. I raise my head. I'm still conscious. My wrists and neck are held by mud like chains, but I still retain my senses. And of course the bad guy has to have his monologue, which will give me the chance to somehow come out of this, right? <laughs> The skin with mud on it is burning. It feels like acid is slowly seeping through the pores of my skin. I grit my teeth, bear it, and check my right ankle. It's totally black. I can't feel it, nor can I move it at all. I'll have to take the mud out of my body or put magical energy into it to move the clotted blood in there. Either way, the moment I move it, all the muscle in my right ankle will be destroyed. That's right, just keep them talking. I raise my body up with my arms and glare at him. I don't know what's so funny, but he makes that evil smile. It's because it's so on the nose about, like, the whole evil monologue, the whole thing about, like, my enemy and me are so alike. That's why we don't like each other. なるほど。お前にとってはそうだろう。何しろ奴は私を見逃すほどの善人だったからな。あの大火災を引き起こした私を倒しただけで命までは通らなかった。それが間違いだったことをお前は知っているはずだ。切り継ぐさえ私を
何という道家ぶりだ何一つとしてなせず息子であるお前に責任を押し付けさぞ滑稽に消えたのであろうなてめえ I kick off the ground. I drove magical energy into my right foot and moved it by force. I ignore my tearing muscles and run to him on all fours like a dog. So that. So no tear don't k e a g a n a k t e a h a n a s i n i n a r a Kotimine raises his hand toward the waterfall behind him. What is he thinking? That is a curse so strong that it's visible. You could call it magical energy specialized for destroying people. There's nothing you can do with it as it cannot be reshaped or anything. Anybody that touches that mud will be stained with a strong curse and will be melted as if digested. In the process, the pain and fear before death remains as magical energy and becomes the next curse to seek out living people. So you die if you touch it. Anyone who touches it will die unless they can get the mud out of their body. Does that apply to Kiri as well? As can he be affected by it? Or is it because he's, as Saber says, he's like a corpse? He's someone who shouldn't be alive. He's not affected by, by the mud. The priest stuck his hand in that waterfall of mud, but oh, well, that answers that question. But he doesn't stop smiling. In his hand is a black darkness. I sense it's something completely different. And the world is attacked by a sudden flash of light. The moment I realize the light is from Saber's noble phantasm. The priest's words instantly turn the world black. Special shoutouts to my top tier patrons Emily Hornsby, Zorn Ether, Revealing Storm, Asborn Kennedy, Icognito, Harry Gazip, and Jared Fan. 